Welcome back to News 4 at noon. All right, Friday is the first alert weather day. We just added Thursday on as the first alert weather day as well. So we got two of them this week. We do have two. And think of Thursday as an extension onto Friday. Okay. We were already talking about that thunderstorm potential for Friday and then, of course, the flooding potential. That's something we've really been hitting on. And just given that the storms are coming in a little earlier, that's why we've added Thursday as okay. a first alert day. I do want to warn you that today some might see some spot showers and a few thunderstorms. These are not expected to be strong, uh, we, except for overnight. So a couple of stronger storms are possible up in northern Missouri. You might barely get clipped by that here, but the real risk for this exists for Thursday. And the rain we're seeing right now developing off of this warm front that'll continue to lift to the north, but there's another cold front sweeping through with some low pressure right behind it. That's going to bring the round that we see Thursday night into Friday. So very active next couple of days and I have the details hour by hour coming up here in a minute. Downtown overcast. We haven't seen any rain. Eureka 55 degrees and cloudy there. Same thing in Farmington. It's still on the warmer side out there. Our temperatures upper 50s right now rising to 65 degrees and winds remain gusty at times through the day, just around 20, 25 miles per hour and temperatures. You will notice tonight they don't really fall all that much. They stay steady because of those southerly winds pulling in the warmer air. And then overnight tonight, a couple counties north may be clipped by some showers and an isolated thunderstorm. They're at a threat level one risk out of five. It's very low on the scale, but in particular, we are watching Thursday night into Friday, and this is that extension of Friday's first alert day that I was talking about. We are now all in that threat level one risk out of five. It's a low risk overall, but what this means for us is that we need to be prepared. Low and severe risk quarter size hail is possible with the initial band of showers and thunderstorms. In addition to that risk that we already have Friday for some minor flooding. Again, that's mainly for areas down to the south. So a bit of an update there that we want to alert you to. Here's the timing of all of this rain and when it moves in through the afternoon, some spot showers possible up to the north an isolated thunderstorm or two and then overnight tonight through early morning. Again, those northern counties clipped by some more thunderstorms and we could see some gusty winds out of them. The rest of us remaining dry Thursday. Now we begin to see those storms coming up from the southwest and watching them for initially to bring us a quarter sized hail threat and even some gusty winds possible as well. If any storms do reach severe limits, it's not going to have widespread impact. So that's something uh, important to notice here. We're just going to be watching it very closely because there is that potential, and that's why we are alerting you to it. But notice how the storms continue to train over the same areas along and south of 44 and along and south of 70. That's why we are alerting you Friday for that flooding risk, and especially for areas to the south where you could see upwards of two or even three plus inches of rainfall you need to especially be on guard as that rain moves in Friday. St. Louis in that zone have seen two in, around two inches of rain. So two first alert days first because of storms on Thursday, a very low and severe threat Friday looking at some minor flooding, especially for areas to the south. Saturday we dry out Sunday. We enjoy a mainly dry day ahead of more rain that moves in Monday, but it's these next 48 hours that we're going to be watching sure. the radar closely and yeah. that we just want everyone to be aware and prepared. Yeah, high impact.